Hello everyone and welcome back to the Techstack channel. So today we are trying to explore the control activities. So let me show you the control. So this is a control. So under this control, what type of activities are there? How we can use these things? Uh, we'll try to that export that. So when you see the under control, so we have this condition. So this condition is nothing but as if condition. So basically we are using this if condition. Now the similar way we can use this if condition. So here I will declare one input variable which uh, I will declare as one temp and just let it be temp. Okay. So I have declared this temp and after that I will assign the temp value. I will assign some data. Okay. Let me take this thing. Okay. So I am updating in the temp value has some value. Okay, let me update this variable. So variable which is the other temp and I am updating test. Okay, just I updated one test. Let me update it. Okay, now this is fine. So now how we can use this if condition, we can check it. So just go to this condition here and you can edit this formula from here and later the value step zero. So which is equals to test. So when this is done, so I want to just display the message box or I want to just log that message. So this is done. Okay, now after this, go and take log. Okay, just go and I'm updating this log message. And here I'm updating as condition satisfied. Condition satisfied. Okay, similar way I will take this duplicate. Uh, just right click on this so you can get the duplicate or you can just print, uh, uh, just press control plus T so you will get another thing here. So here I will update like as not satisfied. So just I will just update here not satisfied. Okay. So now I will run this automation and we'll see this. So what type of data it will provide here. So just uh, testing this automation. So input uh, I make it as uh, Okay, fine. Just I will make this test. Anyway, uh, data will append from here. No issues with that. Okay, when you check this condition has satisfied. Okay, for example, if I change this value from here, so test one something, so then it will move to the condition not satisfied. So now we go to this edit formula. Under this formula, we can see this variables. So this is a variable. What type of variables we declare? All the variables will available under the part of variables and next we have this operations so uh, basically we have this uh, arithmetic operations and equals to for example if you give this equal to for example just in case if you give uh, equal to when you click on the check so you will get some kind of error so you don't know uh, how you need to declare these formulas so at the time go to this operations so arithmetic operations equals operations all are available here so automatic operation comparison operation how we can comparison these things it's equals to equals to uh, with type checking not equals to how we can declare the not equals to greater than less than greater than or equal to these things and we have this logic operators and are not so now you get to know how we can use these things once you updated the data just click on that checkbox and you can see this is updated as uh, L, uh, sorry green color okay this is a way how we can update these operators Okay, when you come to this downside, so if you are uh, working on the sting operations, for example, you want to do some sting operations, uh, concatenate that stings or might be the, it includes, we have match, repeat, replace, if you want replace replaces anything, that we can use that replace, slice, split, so substring or lowercase, uppercase, these are all available here. So if you want to use this, just click on edit here and before that you can just update this step temp dot to lowercase so or else you can see here here also it will come so you can use this anywhere from this fine so this not in it directly go here and you can use it you can use from here as well so once i click on this uh, check option so it's got some issue so let me check here dot to lowercase okay now let me check this i will remove this uh, open brackets Okay, still having issues, so something is got missed. So we need to uh, identify and we can check. And similar way for what type of functions are available for the number 
and array map date boolean so a lot of the things are available you can just explore these things okay so just i want to explore the what are the uh, activities are under the control so these things uh, we'll discuss later as well okay now you get to know how we can use this condition <clears throat> okay now i will go back to this uh, again controls mm, let me collapse okay and we have this end option so this end is nothing but as these things so for example if this is done and then i have the bunch of the code i i will check for the previous automation got failed so then i don't want to do that so that time you can just drag and drop this end condition so it got end so it won't come till here it will just end it here so for that purpose we can use this end and for each so basically this for each can be used for the two things so if you know the list you can pass this uh, list or else if you want to uh, editor so you just open this editor and you can update this so either you can update the uh, string or whatever the things you can apply arrays those things you can apply uh, another thing is so if you want to open any target window so for example we know that application which we declared that post that if you want to use that uh, <clears throat> um, how many uh, if you want to loop everything now so set of collections or set of the elements okay if you want to loop that so for that purpose you can use so two things are there so you can use this thing or you can uh, <clears throat> uh, open the target window and we can do that so these two things will have uh, work here and similar way when i go here forever so when i drag and drop this forever so this loop uh which is called in the infinite loop okay so here we can update this condition for example uh, you don't know how many times to loop for example one page is available there so uh, the page it might be the legacy window application just assume that legacy window thing uh, there we need to wait for some couple of times but when you see that it will take one minute for first iteration and when you go for the second iteration it will take some time so we don't know exactly how uh, much time it will take but um, at at least uh, at uh, i mean the element will load at after some time maybe one minute or two minutes we don't know so for that purpose we can use forever loop and we can check this condition before you can uh, update here one element element exist or not so add that condition based on that we can do that so if it is existed is found element is found then you can exit from this how you can exit from this you know? so when you go here again we can see this uh, loop end is there so just i am drag and dropping this loop end so when you check that this is a loop and this is also loop end so if you want to break that loop for example if you want to break any for loop so we can use this loop end so in this one we can use the loop end so basically when you go some other tools we can use the break or something we can use different way. but when you come to this sap so we can use this uh, loop end if you want to break any uh, for loop or any loop so you can use this loop end for example if i try to put this in if condition what will happen it will won't allow so because there is no loop for this so basically uh, the coding will understand how it will works okay and similar way we have this one more uh, for loop similar way to that so we can see this repeat so this repeat uh, it can takes uh, what is the starting value so you can enter the starting value and you can use this uh, 100 or something uh, number you can use okay so for every parameter i mean for everything you can see this uh, index is common this for the index is there and forever also index is there so here also index so basically uh, the index will uh, automatically increment the count for example right now if it is one so i will show you that as well so just uh, i will uh, remove this thing and i will put uh, this to the top side let me check only for this repeat of so 1 to 100 I, I have so i will just change this to 1 to 10 just for uh, testing purpose and i will take this log message and i will put and i will just remove this data and i will add index so if, if once you click on here automatically uh, it will get the data index or else you can just type that index or go to uh, editor box and you can type that uh, anything is fine so it depends upon you how uh, it's flexibility for you okay now this is done so just i will run this and we can just check observe that uh, um, when you check uh, there is a, some issue here so condition 2 is there so what is this condition maybe inside this so this also having some issue just i will remove this forever also i hope you you know that forever 
okay uh, that is done i am just running this automation again let me click on the test now we can see this so what is a logged message uh, basically index will start from the one so when you check here so this is index one and this is for the index two three four and so on so when you check this so sometimes index might be start from zero or sometimes index might be start from one so make sure that how uh, it's getting that okay if it is zero based on that you can go with if it is getting one so you can go with accordingly okay after that the next what we have we have this is screen switch so for example if you have multiple screens uh, how we can switch that screens so we can edit the target and we can give that screens for example right now we are we are working on the multiple screens so if you want to switch from one screen to another screen so we can use this screen switch and next uh, we have this here is uh, type switch uh, this one i not explore this one type switch let me check what is there so type switch so maybe uh, when you check here case so this is similar to the case uh, while you are using this case the switch case no? so i think it's uh, it should be the similar type way. and after that we have this one more custom script so let's go to this custom script so in this custom script we can write this uh, js script uh, javascript so you can just write here javascript so whatever you want so you can just update the script and you can invoke from where you want you can use that javascript okay and after that what we have the here try so this is try so which is nothing but as a try catch blocker so whatever the activities you want to try so you can try here so once you got catch error so uh, what you need to catch this here so basically uh if you select you need to select here error so you can select the based on this whatever the things is there so you you can just select this error here or else if you select something else also it will go disappear that uh, thing okay based on that uh, how you want to decide whether you want to throw the completely things or you want to just capture the particular errors so you can uh, capture like this way and after that we have this stop automation error if you got any error at the particular time so if you want to stop this so you can just stop that one and the group so when you go this group uh, let me add this let me add it here so the group is nothing but as you can put all the things together inside okay just i'm um, drag and dropping and keeping inside so just uh, you can make sure that this is a one kind of sequence and you can rename this so for example this is related to excel so you can just update the excel if it is something related to condition statements uh, if you have a bunch of the statements you can put it in one statement i mean one group and you can make that name as like that and after that we have whatever there so i hope we all cover these things and for example uh, if you want to know what about this condition you don't know for, uh, for example you don't know uh, so how you can identify means just click on this i icon for more information after that you can see this insert multiple things uh, conditions are there and similar way if you go to end so it will just give this uh, brief information of these things so if you want to i will show you one thing here mm, one second let me check something different so basically uh, it will navigate to some document is there so let me show that uh, document as well for example when i go this click so when you check uh, how this document for if conditions conditions is not there i think so oh, let me go here okay for try these things are uh, document name is they try so let me go on to somewhere else and i will just open the document so just you click that the document will open automatically and after this uh, go to here and we can check this something is available related to that so maybe there is a one search uh, search box is there basically one search box should be there let me go for click and uh, we'll check it so basically uh, these things we should aware uh, going forward let me open this document and you can see this document log messages you can just uh, go come to the left side and you can check here so all the things are uh, available here so just only the thing is uh, let me go to the top side basically one search option is there uh, i saw in somewhere else but right now i have not remember so let me uh, search here like uh, 
so condition is not there <clears throat> okay fine anyway i hope you understand how we can um, use these conditions and how we can use this uh, looping systems and how we can end that loop and all the steps uh, we covered here uh, still if you have any doubts so from this point so you can just uh, comment on the comment section so we'll try to uh, use some more details on it if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it make sure to hit that like button share with your friends subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload